Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Corinne and I'm the golfing princess and this is... Neil. Poor Neil. Mm. <laughs> You're not very happy today, are you? Anyway, um, we're back here at Crook Hill Park. We're still under lockdown, but we are going to continue with the course vlog just to show you what the course is looking like um, after the maintenance we've been doing. So we've, we've walked down to hole seven, which is where we, <coughs> we finished on hole six on the last one. Start on hole seven. Now, we had a quick look at the greens, didn't we, on the way down? And the yeah. hole six green is starting to look a lot better than it did the other day as well. So I think they might maybe they fertilised it and started putting seed down. So. Let's get going on hole seven. So hopefully on this one you'll see hole seven, eight, nine, and ten. So uh, without further ado, let's go. So you can see, I can get zoomed in here. Hole seven. That's the details. I think they could probably be giving the boards a bit of a clean. I'll we'll just get that mossy stuff off. It's a bit. So. Um, let's go down. Hole, hole seven. So this one has all this one like hole one's got a, a belter ring uh, when you get down towards the bottom of the hill. You've got to ring the bell to let you, people know it's clear on the tee box so they can go uh, and tee off. So it is a little bit sunny tonight as well. So we've come out of the house to have a nice little nice little wander out. Because I've been stuck in all day. It's plain in there, not the hole where you can walk on. Don't you just think you ought to do that? You've done it on all the others, so I presume right. you should okay. carry on. So this is the same tee, I forgot what I forgot we did that for, but alright. I've yeah. slept since then. God, it's gonna be on one of the moods tonight. Isn't it? So this is the same tee box for um for the whites, yellows and the reds. So you've got the whites at the far back, the the yellows are kind of somewhere in the middle. And the reds are normally around about here. We've got 20 yards difference between reds and. Well, they can probably see yard, yeah, yardage difference. Yeah, when I'm they, just saying. When look at the thingy. Um, so as you're looking down, it's it's a slight dogleg round to the right again, as many of them are on Cook Hill. Funnily enough. Oh, it's and all downhill. It's all downhill. So this is one where you do need to aim to the left. Because if you if you aim for the middle, you're going to get a kick off the hill down, and you're going to go in the trees to the right. Which is not where you want to be. And if you go left, you can chase it left. Yeah, but if you go, if you aim left, and you yeah. can kind of fade it, power yeah. fade it, like I do. Yeah. You get a really good run down to the green. So. Failing that, you can end up on the eighth fairway, which isn't a bad place to be anyway. No. Yeah. I think they generally say that this. I think this is why this with marker post here to aim for the marker. But generally, if you still if you aim for the marker post there, you're yeah. going to kick down the hill and end up down there because it's got a really bad camber on this hill. I hope they can see this, I hope it's not too bright. The sun's right in our faces. I mean, I'm not complaining because it's sunny. You know, it's 10 to 7 at night and it is glorious. What? We're walking down the middle. We're walking down the middle, are we? Yeah. No, we're just walking down the fairway. You can hear the wildlife flapping in the trees. So you can see it's quite a, again, quite a, a wide open fairway. But you've still got your, your tree hazards. And nobody likes trees. Sometimes they act as magnets for your ball. This is one where I'm, I'm not too bad at it now. I do tend to sort of come somewhere down the middle of the fairway, but I always used to end up somewhere in them trees. Always, always, always. And where do you go, Neil? Yeah. Down here. Down here. And where no, did I'm you used to go? Down here. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good tree? Anywhere over here. Sure. You're not too bad over here because at least you've got a clear shot into the green if you're coming down this side. Yeah. So again, it's a little bit, you feel a little bit strategic on this hole. That way you're hitting. It sounds lovely with all the wildlife, isn't it? All the birds twittering. It's lovely. I think it looks like they've freshly cut the grass today, or at least yesterday. And when you get that bell, you think that. Yep, there's the bell. There's the bell tree. There's 
the zoom into that. Ding ding ding. Some people do forget to ring it quite often. But some people, when you ring it, something big it just can reach the screen. Yeah, so there is a few people that can drive this. Yeah, I think we'll get to this green. I need to change the battery. Could you have bought some spare batteries with me? It's like a Girl Scout mode today. Proper prepared. Let's see what condition this green is. So this green's a little bit of a horrible one because it's quite undulating. It's, it's sort of like it sort of bowls a little bit in one area, then you've got like a up and down in the other area, and it's it's awful. One wrong move and you'll be off the green somewhere. I see your two greenside bunkers. I tell you what, this green's looking lovely. Cyclists. This green is looking miles better. Absolutely lovely this. And it drops off the back, doesn't it? Yeah, drops off if you get too far down it drops off into the it's still out of bounds here, is it? So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking quite nice. So that's hole seven. So there's a little path here through to hole eight. Now hole eight is what we call banana hole. Is it? Oh, we have a banana. Because it's the hole where we have, it's about nearly halfway through the course and you need a bit of a pick-me-up. So we have a banana. Yeah. Ooh, a bit dark through here, isn't it? Yeah. And what else is this tri this um, hole known for? Well, I'll go for a week. <laughs> Neil's like a dog. He christens this hole every time he comes. In the woods. Yeah. In the world, yeah. You don't actually pee on the on the tea box. I'll give you that. This, this is a strange hole as well because it is a par three. Unless you're a lady, it's a par four. You don't sound bitter about that at all, Neil. I'm not bitter. So that's the, uh, that's the trees that Neil goes for a pee in. At least a lot, lot more cover than last time. Yeah. The trees have grown. In fact, to be fair, I think a few of the ladies have been in there before, me included. It's only, it's only a hole where you actually get a bit of shelter to uh, to, to relieve yourself. Anyway, there's hole eight. There's plenty of people going for a pee in there, trust me. So, white trees will be about here. So it's par three for the gents. And the um the yellow and red are normally on that side, aren't they? Do they not have the yellows up here? I don't I thought the yellows were here. Yellow might be, yeah. And then the side basically. Ladies. ladies go over there. And uh, But during the winter they put us out both over yeah, there. Yeah, gents and ladies. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes fact, that, sometimes that, gents are over here anyway. That tea box looks lovely. Yeah. It's in fantastic so this condition. Is a full fill. Part yeah. three for the girl ladies. This is the one hole where I would love to be able to drive the hole. This is my nemesis. But because it's uphill, I have got, I mean I'll show you where the furthest I've been before in this hole. So I have managed to get on the banking before. Which is pretty pretty good to be up that high going uphill. But I would just love to be able to drive it. That's my ultimate goal, I think. Yes. Ultimate goal to drive the hole. Where do you go, Neil? But I normally go that side of the banking up up to that edge. Yeah. I have been down the middle. I think I might have actually got it very close to the green once. The one she did, yeah. Didn't that one where you took a shot, duffed it, and you took a provisional and it landed at the side of the green? No. I'm sure it was a provisional shot and you no, were like, oh no, my no, god. I've had, a, I've had a genuine one up there. Oh, yeah. Well, I see, I, again, if I, can, if I can get to the bottom of that hill, I'm happy. But I normally go around this big tree here, the far there. one and I'm normally on the banking up there and chipping on that way or a bit closer to it it's, it's quite a long par 3 for the gents isn't it? it's a long par 3, uphill yeah, it's the uphill that does you I think but uh, again this has got the green on this one if you, you land on the back and the, the flag's in, in the middle you only need to tap it, don't you, really? Yeah, you do. Yeah. And it runs and runs and runs. Runs away with you. Yeah, you never, never seem to judge that, right? No. So we've also got in this hole, if you do happen to power fade it, or slice it, over 
to the right behind them bushes. Out of bounds. It's out, well, you're never getting your ball back because it's a farmer's, farmer's field. field. So you're never going to get your ball back from there. So yeah. That bunker's always ground under me there. That bunker there, yeah. I used to always land just before that bunker around about there. But I've started grinding more fairway in that general sort of area now. But the furthest I've been, I was on the bottom of this banking up here. So I'm so close to driving it, so close. One day. And you end up over here somewhere, don't you? Yeah, up on that where that shadow is. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if it's straight, it'd be amazing. I think I have had it up. God, you're on that puff on this at all. Right on green, but up on this. Oh, God, it's... You need to do a nail on this hole. This area, just yeah. It's got this called Mackenzie, that one. So, yeah, so you see the edge of the green, it uh, drops off. It's looking, this is looking really well as well, isn't it? It's not perfect, but you see it's getting there, can't you? It's not perfect, but say when you, when you consider what it was. Anything's perfect now, isn't it? Well, anything's perfect, you can get yeah, out and play. We'll play in a ploughed field. But you can actually see the the area first and second cut really well now. They've, they've obviously freshly cut this at some point, because this is normally, never normally this prominent, is it? These two cut areas. I don't think so, no. no, it does look. Absolutely lovely. Hole eight. Done. That's a bit tiring, that one. And then we come to hole nine. And this is the one where the ladies do get a bit of an advantage. Yeah, we do have an advantage on this one. On this one. It's, uh, you this, can see the tees. This is Neil's favourite hole. Or used to be Neil's favourite hole. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't it, Neil? Them trees there. I've been in there a few times. So, there we go. See that one? I'm talking 65 yards advantage you've got. It's quite a big and difference there. to this one. So this this is one of them where you probably would. This would be a disadvantage to you on your bet. It would, but you're slightly more elevated. It's like Adam was saying on hole 17, you've got that elevation. Oh yeah, but you've got... It's, it's still not that much I different. think if you've... I can't really see it. I think you'll uh, you'll notice a difference on this hole when you play this off the others. If you've got if you have got a slight more a slight elevation on it, you're going to get that extra height. Yeah, but then you're going up all that side, so. I'm just so pessimistic. No, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm saying most of them you're all right, but this is the one where or one of them where you would notice yeah. a difference. That's well, well this saying. is the tee box for the yellows and the um, whites. whites anyway, and you see them trees sticking out there, that bush, that lot of bush there. Neil used to spend a lot of time in them trees. <laughs> some so, some were sacrificed, weren't they? Yeah. And some you found. found. Yeah, quite often on this, you can hit it into them trees. I think you've lost it. And it's actually bounced out. Yeah, sometimes if you get in, get if you get that, lucky on a tree, it'll bounce out to the that, side. At least into that ditch. Yeah. And you can normally chip out. Yeah, you can chip out of that ditch. So there you got the ladies. Sorry, the red tees. Forward well, tees. Actually, actually, this is the ladies' tee. On, on this one. You've got to say it because the ladies' tee off there. And they're the only. You know, if juniors came to play, would they tee off here as well? So, this is where I will tee off from. Up here. I can hit it straight here, can't I? I can hit this. No, I don't mean to I do, to be fair, this is one of the holes where I do really hit a cracking truck normally, don't I? I do normally hit a poker straight shot. It used to always go you near that tree so, there. So it's the left hand of this hole, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because again, everything rolls to the left. Yeah. So if you hit your shot being left handed, you can you can sort of like aim more that way and it, and it don't go that way. Yeah. used to land just before that tree in that general area direction as well but this last sort of six months or so I have been kind of going up the middle of the fairway and I have been getting further and further up as well so 
on a really good drive you can kind of see where it goes up and then flattens out and then goes back up again where it flattens out quite often my ball of lands you can just see the 150 marker down there it sort of lands in line with the 150 marker or just a little bit past you sound quite proud on this hill because it's uphill do you want to be? i do want to be you're right <laughs> you're panting like a dog, it's so, so tiring walking up. You know, when you've not walked this, yeah. when you do this course like two or three times a week, it's nothing. But when you've not walked it for six weeks, my god, it's gonna be a killer coming back with your trolley. Definitely to charge the batteries up for motor carriers. You can drag us up. <laughs> can drag us up. Good shout. Look at that, a good clear out as well at the side. Yeah, that seems a bit. It seems yeah. less dense. Yeah. This is looking very green, isn't it? All the trees are starting to look very lush. That's a nice one, that red tree. Mm -hmm. So we did, we did walk down, down through this hole, so we've seen this green, and this is looking a lot better, isn't it, as well? Good. Occasionally you do get um, the odd deer on the yeah, course. Yeah. We were down, I think I ran on the fourth once, on the fourth hole, me and Sheila and I think Christine, yeah. and a uh, baby deer came darting across. No, we're on first, we're on the, on the um, green on the first. Let your mind up. That was definitely the first and it came shooting across from the fourth, halfway across the, uh, the fairway and it darted back across again. Can't I see some wildlife? Makes a change from squirrels. I see a lot of squirrels on this hole, yeah. part of this uh, course. So, you see, when you get to the top of the hill, it's still quite a distance till you get to the green. It's quite deceiving. This is another charity bunker. Tigers. The tigers, this one. I think I've been in this once in the last couple of years. Why? Because you're not a tiger. Alright now. I think I've paid paid into a charity. I just managed to pay the tiger charity for land, didn't it? Oh you know, not always a tiger. Well I always have. You've never paid a fight <laughs> in your life. <laughs> I have. Not very often, but I have. Why haven't dug and bite yourself? Anyway. The only downside to where this green's placed is you've got this tree here and it drops rubbish onto the green as you can see but apart from that it is looking a lot better can you still still a few little bits like that but what we should have done really is done a course yeah, vlog all the other year it, it dried up terribly didn't it? We yeah didn't the, have any rain. the cracks and, and cracked, they were horrible it, it weren't really well looked after but now this is certainly I mean, some people might look at these and think, oh god, these are healthy. But we're thinking, oh, there's a lot of work on I said, what we should have done is probably done a vlog before. No, I mean, let's see. During yeah, the winter, we'd have yeah. been going to do a, a course yeah, vlog. See, it, like that there, I mean, see, like that, yeah. The roof patch, and you can see where cracks have been. But, compared the, to, but yeah. even compared to what it was over the winter, that's still a lot better. And you can see it's actually regenerating, and the grass is starting to grow back, and it's. Hmm. Say goodbye, Craig. No, we're going on hole 10 now. Are we? We're doing hole 10. Right, so we're not saying goodbye here on hole 9 because we've done 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. And then you're doing another vlog. No, I'm doing 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. I, did, I, did, I did tell him this. you were doing 3, then you were doing others. No, because it will still be 5. I apologise. Stay with us, viewers. They knew. They just knew. you don't listen. It sometimes comments just noise. You know, I think all the uh, gentlemen will agree. Sometimes it just turns into noise. That's noise, rude. that's all it is. That is rude. After I lovingly it, cooked it, your tea it is tonight, fat. every it is night this fat. week I've cooked your tea for you, as I always do, and this is the thanks I get. Abuse. No, I did shower. Uh, I helped with the bathrooms, you still keep forgetting Not that. Today you do. 
disappeared. No, today I was I was gossip talking to the neighbours today. I was getting I was getting I was getting essential information from the neighbours today. Gossip. No, just because you don't talk to people, you know, antisocial get. Anyway, part oh, ten. This is yet another one where there's what ten yards difference between reds and yellows. Yeah, so you get your same tea box. You're back here for the whites. Believe it or not, it's a dog leg to the. Yeah. I see the dog leg to the right. There's a shock. So let's come right forward to the to the reds here. Yeah, you can reach your green. Now this is one. Yeah, this is one where I've. Yeah. Take them trees on yeah. that corner. If you, you if, if you if you can hit it straight and go straight over them that tree in that line, you'll hit the, the really close to the green. Yeah. Now I think once I've done it, I just thought, do you know what? So I don't want to go for it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna trust me going straight because I've been hitting drive straight yeah. all all day that day, and I and I and I tried it and I happened to slice it, so it went into the trees. But I think once when I when I just aimed. Kind of like ju just to the left of the trees, I managed to get a really good hit on it, and it went poker straight. But it did actually get a really good bounce off the hill. Yeah, I think. So I so I got a really good uh, a good get, roll on it. You can get down. It's like it's just it's a, da a downhill one. This one yeah. Anyway. I think this is the one where I, I got my 246 yard drive yes. because it was all downhill. Yeah. <laughs> so I got and it was dry, so I got a good a good hit on it. Two seven irons will get you there easily if I want it. I don't know, not with me, not with my seven irons. Oh, yeah. It's an iron down and you've got an iron to A couple of hybrids might do it. As well, so. so but they could probably do with cutting these trees back a bit actually. They seem, yeah. to, have, they seem to have sprouted well, a little they need, bit. They need, you need that tree there, I think, just to. What, to block you? Well, you've got to, that one's really you've sprouted. Got to make it, uh, you've got to make it a hazard, haven't you? That's, you've got to make it where you've got to. Risk or reward. Risk or reward, really. Not, it's definitely you know, not everything straight. And nothing straight, and it's pretty always all dog leg on this. Yeah, you know, you want them little bits of stuff in way just to make it a little bit more tricky. But you can see as well the fairway it bumps up. So again, depending on where you hit your ball, you could you could hit the bank and roll down this you way or it, that way. Like, or like hanging on this bit, you've got a flat lie straight into the green. Yeah. Or if you come too far this side, you've got the trees in consideration again. Yeah. Even if even if you sort of land under the trees here. Yeah. And you think you're fairly straight, you can't hit anything too lofty because you're going to Yeah, you need to sort of do a, a grubber. Sally Gunnell, what they call shot. it. Punch. And a punch shot goes up, that's it. Punch keeps it low. I'm thinking flop. Yeah. I'm thinking of what the terminology yeah. is on the PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really bad now, I'm going to refer everything back to the PlayStation Golf. But again, it's a quite nice little hole, it's just very. I feel like a roller coaster when you're walking down it, it's like this. Yeah. It's, uh, it's still it's looking lovely. It is, the weather's quite nice as well. Yeah. I might have a bottle of beer when I get in, you know. What? I might have a bottle of beer when I get in. I mean, you having no other sins tonight? No chocolate or anything? I don't know. I don't care. I thought it was supposed to be raining it in. I am. I'm only having a small bottle of beer. It's not really raining it in then, is it? Yes. Not if we're having a street party, social distance street party on Friday. Which by the time this vlog goes out will have already happened. Yeah, so you can't grass on us. We're, 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 it's to celebrate VE Day. Everyone's Hopefully by the time this vlog goes out, we'll be playing golf again. Hopefully, yeah. This is going to be out next Tuesday. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah so the, the street, I don't think we will, but... The street, nice, street people it? are having... Everyone's just going to sit there get the get their chairs out on their own driveways and have some drinks and get some music on. Celebrate VE Day. We're going down this yeah. way, are we? I looked, at, well, I looked when VJ Day was, by the way. When VJ Day? September. I don't September know what, the 2nd. I don't know what June is then. I thought something was in June. No, I don't know. I don't know. So again, the green's looking a lot better than what it was. Believe it or not. The, uh, the bunkers do need some attention, but uh, for me, they can stay but ground under repair for all I care. I ain't that bothered. Yeah, this is one where there's a lot of stuff that sort of kind of falls onto the green. Well, from the, it? Yeah, this one's been vandalised a few times with people with quad bikes, bikes and stuff. 
but it's uh, certainly looking a lot better again you might not think it but it really is so so yeah that guys and girls is holes seven through to ten of Crook Hill Park so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you a, bit, a little bit more of an insight into the course and four more holes to go to complete the set so um, stay with us stay for the next episode because you're going to see the finish of the course no you're not you've already seen the finish of the no course. the finish of the series right. you know well it's not the course though, is it <sighs> they've already seen the finish you see everything like now the first one you did the last three holes didn't you yeah so now all these other vlogs are like flashbacks aren't they right you know it starts at the end you might not see you, you might not on. see him on the next one because I might knock him out. Um, trust me. So uh, stay with us, and we'll see you on the next one for hole ten. Sorry, hole eleven. Hole eleven. <laughs> the card wrecker. Yes, it's the card wrecker hole. Yeah. So stay with us. See you soon. Yeah. Bye.